What's up guys, my name's Dominic and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review is on the Verrat Magnetic Elliptical Machine. So as you can see, this is the box itself. It does have maybe a couple little hits from it. Uh, don't mind that, that's actually from my hand truck. Um, I really wouldn't recommend um, doing this by yourself or getting the package in yourself. It is a very heavy machine. So as you can see, this is the whole entire box. So what we're gonna do is just gonna give you a little Look around just to give you guys an idea. Don't mind the stuff on the ground over here. Uh, my garage is a little busy right now. We're doing a couple different things. But as you can see, you know, it has pretty much all the details on it. You know, it's an elliptical machine. And what we're going to do in the next couple videos, we're going to bust this bad boy open. And we're going to get an idea of how do we assemble it, what comes in the box, and then actively use the whole entire machine itself. So stay tuned for the next part. All right guys, so we are back. And what we're gonna do is we're going to open this up. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, give you guys more of an idea of what you should be expecting inside the package. So let's get more a little bit into that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut first these all open. All right, so we got that open. Don't mind my, uh, my, uh, my jacket on. It's a little cold right now in the garage, so I'm gonna open that open. We have that open. All that open. All right, so let's get the camera a little bit closer here, and we'll give you guys a better idea. So, as you can see, it is all packaged up. Um, it seems there are many pieces. It says that it's about you know about seventy percent already assembled. Um, we're going to find out, you know, how long will it really take us to assemble this whole entire unit and uh, how hard is it? So stay tuned for the next part. All right, guys, so I took off all the styrofoam. We got, you know, some of the actual bags off. I have a couple more things to take off, possibly just, you know, this cardboard, some other little plastic stuff. Um, but as you can see, there are a couple more parts to put together. I did see that there were screws in there as well. Um, so what we're going to do next is... Uh, Start going over, um, you know, what part goes where, how long is this really gonna take us to assemble. Um, so stay tuned for the next couple parts. It's gonna probably take us, you know, maybe about 30 minutes to an hour to install this whole bad boy together. But, you know, let's see how it goes. So one thing I wanna start off with is possibly getting the pole to go up. So what we're gonna do is um, what it seems to be, I took the plastic off here is there's this bolt here. And what you wanna do is you wanna unscrew this a little bit. And then what you do is you move this a little bit. Sorry about that. We lift this up yeah, and we drop that a little bit and then it should click in. So once it clicks in, um, I would screw that bolt down, which I'm gonna do. And then what you do is you take this cover and it should match up perfectly here. So that's possibly like one of the first things I would do. All right guys, so what I've done is I've started to put the legs on the bottom. Um, it's those big tubes. Um, just want to give you guys a little bit more insight here. So um, what you'll be doing is matching up the holes um, with this whole tube. Um, what it should be is the, this is a little bit set differently. So I don't know if you can see there from the top of that plastic part is lower and then the bottom of it is a little bit higher. So I'm guessing it's to, um, you know, bring the actual unit leveled a little bit more. So make sure you don't have it upside down or opposite. Um, so this is how it really should be. And then you wanna match those up. And then the other side is another tube. Now the different, this tube has wheels. So if you need to drag it around somewhere, um, just make sure you do have the up uh, sticker like this. You don't wanna have that backwards or anything like that. And then the same thing, you're gonna match it up to the holes here. So I don't know if you see, there's a the square and then there's the hole. And then the type of screws you're going to be using and this package gets a little confusing, but um, it should be these four right here. So you should see where it should say carriage bolt, high hat, and then the archer washers. And then also you're gonna be using a tool. Um, I actually just took the tool out myself. Sorry about that, but it's just exact image. Um, and uh, I will be uh, installing that and then we'll get on to the next step. All right guys, so I just wanna give you an example real quick. I already pretty much have all the bars on. Um, I just uh, have one last screw here. So obviously, as you see, there is a screw um, hole here and then it's square, so it should match this square shape. And all you do is feed that through. I don't know if I can really do this one hand with the camera. Maybe I can pass it through. All right, 
so there we go. All right, so that's on there. And then next you wanna do is put the washer on top. Now the washer should be flat with the whole entire mix. So just like that, so see how it, it sits on here? Nice and flat, you wanna put that on there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this uh, top hat right on top. And then you're gonna screw that on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw that on. It's a little harder with one cam with one hand with a camera. Um, but um, just like maybe as you see right here, you know, it sits on there perfectly. Um, I'm gonna screw this on, we'll get into another part. All right, guys, we are back. So we have now both bottom parts all done. And uh, that was pretty easy. Um, I would recommend maybe putting something underneath it to lift it on both sides. This way you have a better idea of matching up each part. But um, next, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this. Um, so what we're gonna do is take that open. Now, I know we said we had this bolt and you do should, or you should really still screw that down. But uh, there are t a couple of holes here and there are bolts that you are supposed to put in here. So there's two on both sides. I believe there's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple here as well. So we're gonna do that. And then also what we're gonna do is we're going to um, assemble this unit in here and then there's a screw hole right here. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see, um, this is the manual I'm going by. So next seems to be uh, arms, but we're realistically gonna go right into the uh, neck of it. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need this, and then you're gonna need all these little components right here. These are for something else. So let's just uh, focus on this. All right, guys, so as you can see, I do have uh, one of the bolts in. Um, I just wanna go over one important thing that I just noticed. So as you can see, this is the bolt, but it's a flat washer. Now on here, you do have more of a curve to it. Now, if you look at your screws here, now there's some with just a flat going on, but there's some of them that have a curve. Let's see if we can find one. Here's one. So as you can see, it has that curved bend to it. Make sure you're looking for the washers with the curve to go on the front and the rest of the ones with the flat to go on the sides there. So this way you don't get confused or you have to go really back and you know install it again. Um, I, I just noticed that when I was installing one of them, I was like, why is it so curvy? But uh, that makes sense. So make sure you uh, look at that first. All right guys, so I have all the bolts done. They're all set in there. Don't really know if you wanna see the other side, but everything you know came in really smoothly. Um, I would start with one bolt on each side to make sure all the holes match up. Um, if you tighten down one side, the other holes may not match up because of that exact reason. You're tightening one side more than the other. So make sure you have one bolt um, started from each side and then start doing the others uh, counterclockwise. Um, just a tip. Um, so next, what I did was I undid this whole thing. Um, we're going to be setting this in. So as you can see, there is a screw hole. And what we're going to be using is this little screw right here. So we'll be going from the back. We'll be going right on through here. And then uh, we'll match it all up. So uh, stay tuned for the next part. All right, so we have the screw put in. Um, now, one thing I do want to point out is one of those washers that were bendable. Remember, this is a curved area, so make sure you have that washer set up um, how it should be because on the screw at first it was backwards. Um, so I actually had to adjust that. Sorry about the camera. Seems to be going out a little bit. All right, so next, what we're going to do is the foot pedals. So um, we're going to take the foot pedals. We're going to uh, put them on this area right here. So there are three screws that should match up to that. Make sure you have the right and the left pedal um, correctly uh, lined up. I'm gonna take off this stuff off of each of the poles. And then what you should be doing is taking these screws right here. So these are what's gonna um, fit into that actual pedal. So stay tuned and we're going to go on to uh, putting that together. All right, so we have these screws in. Um, just as a heads up, the bolt does go down first. You wanna make sure it fits inside that little uh, perfect like hexagon area. Push it down in there. Then you're gonna put the washers and the bolt on the bottom. And then basically you should be uh, perfectly um, mount it up. So then you just screw along at the bottom until they really tighten down in there. You know, I have it down on here. As you can see, they're all matched up over there. And uh, we're gonna go now on to the next part. All right, so next part we're gonna do is the arms. So here is one of the arms. As you can see, there's a sticker that says left. 
on this unit itself. I put one of the arms already on there. Um, just to give you guys an idea, it does say right inside of here, it will say, there it is, right stick. I uh, ruined it already by putting that on, but you wanna match up the holes. On here, it will say left as well. You wanna match that up. And then to give you guys an idea, it's going to be these last screws right here they're gonna be using. So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna put those together as well. All right guys, so what we have here is now next, the monitor is what we should be doing. Now what we did before was the arms, I just wanna give you guys an idea, the bolts will stay on the outside, the, the actual uh, flathead part stays here, there's a perfect circle that's cut in for it, so uh, just make sure you don't put them backwards. But um, you do have plugins up here. Um, they were wrapped up, I'm gonna be unwrapping them in a second. But um, just to give you guys an idea, um, you do have a box here. Sorry about that, I actually already opened it. Um, and also right here, what you'll be getting inside is the box, the whole entire monitor itself. So I'll give you guys an idea. Here's the whole entire monitor. Um, make sure you have it correctly up. You don't wanna obviously install it and have it upside down. Um, and then on the back here, you do have the actual plug-in parts. So make sure you match those up. And then these are the screws. So. These screws are what you're gonna be using to mount the unit itself. So make sure you take these out and actually, um, you know, get ready to use them to mount up. Um, I'm going to install it and then give you guys an idea of how it looks. All right, so we have it all set up. As you can see, I screwed everything in. Um, I have the whole entire unit or monitor, I should say, really um, up on top. Um, this does use an app, so we can use an app, but we will get to that later once we have really everything assembled first. Um, so last part is inside the styrofoam box. I forgot to mention these there are some extra parts now This is pretty much we're coming to the very end So these plastic covers realistically cover like you know this part right here now You guys probably were wondering what these little screws were that were sticking out I was too. I didn't know if maybe they you know installed it correctly or something like that But actually they do that on purpose um, So they're meant to cover these you know kind of ugly areas um, so you also have this area you want to really cover up. There's screws here. You're going to have another area here you're going to be covering up. So um, what I'm going to do is we're going to get into that next and then uh, find out how they look. All right, so what we did was we put one of the plastic collars on here. And as you can see, it's screwed in. Um, it just hides up, you know, all that bolty look. Um, just to give you guys an idea, it should exactly be this part. Now, I didn't want to install it on this side just to show you. So there's the comparison. And you should be getting two screws like that out of, let's see, this hole and this hole. And then with this, you pretty much just pop it down the middle. So what you do is maybe I can do it with one hand. Don't think so. No. All right, so I really can't do it with one hand, but as you can see, it splits down the middle. So all you're gonna do is removing both parts from each other, and then you're just gonna be putting it around the area so this is the screw hole obviously you want to match up the screw holes and everything and then it should perfectly align all right so next up what you should be having is some kind of plastic collar like this um so what these are really meant for are is really this side you'll be just sliding that right on um, so this is the screw you want to take out should slide right out i mean it might be a little rough but you should be able to slide it right on out take that out slide this right on and then you should just match up the screw hole. And let's see if I can do this without looking really. Okay, so we got it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw that in. I'm gonna uh, match up the other part as well, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right guys, so the next part should be uh, this component right here. So just to show you, this is one of the other collars I have to put it on here. Um, this doesn't just split open. There is, if you can see, there is a screw in there. So you have to unscrew this, then cap it on top of each other. Um, put that screw realistically back in there. Um, and then you also have to take these uh, screws off and screw down these side holes, as you can see here. So uh, I'm going to get to that, and then we'll go to the next part as well. All right, so we are coming to the last part. So basically, uh, you just have, I'm guessing this is a cup holder. Um, so what you'll be doing is taking down these two screws and then you'll be matching those holes up perfectly. I'm gonna get to that and then see how that comes out. All right guys, so we have the whole entire unit all set up. As you can see, this is everything all together. Now, I will say this did definitely take about 30 minutes to an hour. I think about 45 minutes realistically for myself to put this all together. Um, so I'm 
thoroughly impressed. I've actually, you know, got on it. It's very stable. I haven't had anything really wiggle on me. Everything was pretty easy to put together. Don't get me wrong, the instructions were a little confusing, but you know, we got everything together. So as we can see here, we do have the whole entire monitor all set up. Um, so you have the reset button, you'd hold that down and then that would reset it. So you do have different modes. Um, so if we go, let's just see. So we have mile per hour speed. We have the distance. We have your calories that you'll be burning. Um, the Odo reading. Um, your pressure, so you'd be putting your hands on here to see your heart rate and stuff like that. Um, so stuff along that line. And the setting, just trying to figure out what, okay. So if you're in time, you can set how much time you wanna be on there. Um, the speed, don't think there's really a setting for that, for distance. Okay, so you can put the distance down for how long. For the calories, you wanna show how many calories you wanna burn. So as it's at, let's say you wanna burn seven calories, um, you get on it, you start moving, and it would start going down until the countdown gets to zero for you. So we have that. All right, and I think that's pretty much everything there is. So um, I'm sure there's maybe a couple more things. What we're going to also do is go through the app a little bit. Um, I'm going to actively get on it just to give you guys a good idea. You know, how does it work? Is it actually, you know, stabilized altogether? All that fun stuff. But, um, I'm gonna reset it for the time being. I'm gonna start taking a look at the actual app and then uh, I'll give you guys an idea on how that actually works. So stay tuned for the next part. All right guys, we are back. So two things before we go over the whole thing. Don't mind the whole cluster of stuff back there. I just moved into a new house and um, I haven't really unpacked anything. And uh, don't mind also this because I'm still, this is like PJs for me, so don't mind my clothing. Um, this is probably the time I would get on this machine anyway. So this is the whole unit. Um, it looks really well. You know, if I shake everything, it's held up really well. No jiggling movement. Nothing to that. Nothing to that. But it's, uh, it's held up really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actively get on it and give you guys an idea of, you know, does it really work well? You know. Does it hold up to, you know, what it's supposed to do? So let's just, you know, take a look. So it seems to be working fine. Not having any issues, you know. Obviously, I can also, you know, adjust the tension to it. I have it on like seven, so it has a little bit of a push to it. It's not letting me free flow that easy, but, you know, let's bring it up a notch. And it works out really well. So I'm going to really speed test this. Now, I know you're not supposed to normally do that, but let's see if it can really handle that. Ooh. Yeah, that was pretty quick. We were going pretty much 22, 26 miles per hour. So as you can see, it held up to the test. It's built well. You know, it was a little bit of pain to put together, but it was not that bad at all. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go over the whole entire app portion of it. So guys, stay tuned for the next last portion, and it's going to show you more of the app features for this device as well. All right, guys, we are back. So as we said before, we're going to go over the app portion, and this is the app portion of the video. So as you can see in the corner there, we have the Marach app. That's what the app should look like and that's what you should be looking for. Um, you can also go on top of your machine. There will be a barcode. You can scan it with your camera and it'll also help you find it right in the app store. So what we'll be doing is clicking this open and this is what it should look like on the front page. So basically you'll be creating an account and then um, on top of that, you'll be going to the top right corner here, you'll see a plus sign. We'll be clicking that. And then when we click that, you will see numerous different types of equipment that the Mirage already has. So they have exercycles, they have rowers, treadmills, and they have the ellipticals. So what we had is obviously an elliptical machine. You'll be turning on your Bluetooth. And what you'll be doing is actually just activating the screen on the uh, elliptical machine itself and you'll just be connecting to it. And once you connect it to the actual equipment, it should really just pop up. You click confirm 
and then you have the device. So we already have the device already on here. So we're gonna get out of here. And then this is pretty much what you have. You have many different options that you could be playing with. So you could have your calories, your distance, your time. Um, and you realistically have to be near the machine, obviously, to use this. And on top of that, you do have different options on the bottom here you could play with. So you do have ultra burning. So you can go through um, an ultra burning mode. You have a free training mode. You have a target practice. And you have a time uh, practice mode as well. So if you want to time yourself, you have some kind of target you're reaching, you know, if you want to go just through vigorous type of training or, if you know, there's an amount of calories you really want to burn, this app will help you uh, get that uh, accomplished. On top of that, down here, you do have different videos and different classes that you could try. So that's really nice that they give you those options too. So you would just click a class and then you go with the trainer and actually burn or uh, do whatever task that you know fits your type of style. Now we're gonna click more and just take a look at more of them. So this is now, like we said, there is the exercise so rower, treadmill, and the elliptical. But we have the elliptical, so you have all these different videos that you could be using with the elliptical machine. So let's go back to workouts. And then finally on the bottom here, which is really nice as well, is they have different virtual videos. So, you know, you could be going through the reef, you could be do shoreline riding, you could do Abraham's Lake. So if we take a look at that as well, and they have a whole, you know, a good amount of videos. I'm sure they could be adding more as time goes on, but you know, if you enjoy going through uh, a nice scenery while doing this, you can do that as well. So guys, this is the Mirage app. I hope this gave you an idea of what you should be expecting as well. And uh, this is pretty much the whole overview of the whole entire video. And I hope I explained everything and gave you guys, like I said, again, a very good overview of what to expect putting this together from the box itself and the whole entire unit and app. Uh, guys, have a great day. Uh, please subscribe. It really does help me out as well. And uh, yeah, see you around.